Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Random DIY thing. <laughs> I wanted to put something kind of bamboo, more of a more permanent kind of um, covering, as this is pretty much just drawn on. These are sort of something that they, I guess, left behind to where she's moving into. And there's like four or five different versions of that, but that's kind of more what I wanted. So that is a window blind that I'm going to attempt to cut down to size to that. <laughs> so I'm trying, trying to mix it up here. So this is what you get. Let's see what we got. So this is actually pretty nice. All I've been kind of managing to find are sort of like dinner. Um, you know, the things that you put your plates on. <laughs> Place settings, I believe is the term. So. Oof. And I personally wouldn't want these in my window because it's like, what's the point of having a window if you're blocking the window with these stuff and stuff anyway? <laughs> with my assistant here. Alright, ready? So we need 52 wide. Oh, there we go. And I might even have extra to make placemats. Now I don't want that there. Oh yeah, we got plenty. <laughs> Plus, enough for a placemat. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, probably. Alrighty, I think we've, we're good. So I will cut this down to size. We'll take this stuff off, because I do not want this. And I shall return. Should be, should be interesting. Hmm. I think if I do that, it would unravel. So I will probably epoxy first. So I will epoxy the ends so it doesn't all unravel. So and in place. So all of these places, it's obviously just sewn together. I am going to glue these down. So I think I'll glue it on these tiny little pieces first. So that is my task. Then she'll cut this part off, and then cut it to size. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? Catherine Michael. Back to the butt. Prince Poop. It looks like I'll have enough for one runner and part of another runner and four. Since this is all I need, I have all of that. So I might end up making a lot of placemats. <laughs> so I will have my my runner and placemats besides. So as I am waiting for the parts to dry, though they're pretty much almost already dry, I'm going to forage as my first berries of the season are now ready. So as it's drying, I am going to nibble, nibble, nibble. We will start down here. Oh. Is this where I glued first? So I epoxied all there, so we're good. I'll start on the side of my neck. This is how we need. I wish us in the West would do more with bamboo. It's supposedly a quickly renewable resource, and it's pretty neat. Lightweight, fairly durable. Some more epoxy on the end there, but just enough to keep it together. There we go. Anybody need a large twig? Okay. Runner was a success. So I did it roughly 17 and a half. They're a little small and too big. Now I've got all of this to make placemats out of. 
So I will do the same process, epoxy the ends. Uh, so I'll probably epoxy here, decide what size I want. So I probably go one, two, I'm assuming I'll get at least six placemats out of this. When in doubt, if you can't find what you want and you can find a window shade, you can make a taper runner and place mats at the wazoo. So I might join you after the place mats have been made. All that cutting, all that cutting and measuring has pooped my supervisor out. <laughs> yeah, you. That's all waste. That's all waste. So that's still good. That's good. So these are two exactly the same size. Though I think one was a little more messed up than the other. So I think I'll keep the good one for the primary reason I wanted this in the first place. And I shall make placemats out of this. <laughs> so I think I'll get two out of here and I'll probably get a good six out of them. Which is kind of funny because this side's white and dark. Oh, I guess they're the same thing. I don't know what I want to do now. Because <laughs> this side's dark. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the conundrum. Why would it be so different? I don't know, I think I'm still going to keep this piece. That's the piece I will use for my placemat. And then I'll just work with these. Because I don't need two of the same thing. <gasps> Alrighty, I shall return. Well, there's at least one good thing. I'm not getting sunburnt since it's all cloudy and overclassed. So I'm expecting it to wrench down for shortly. And even these did not go to waste. I've been using these for the epoxy. So even the waste didn't go to waste. <laughs> so I am now thinking 13 and a half is I think a little too, too big so I don't know if I need if you because I'm kind of thinking the table of it that it's probably going to go on are these too big I kind of think so so if we have one one so I think I'm going to take these two off which will probably make about 12 i.e. 12 inches Yes, high class high class lights here. No idea where those came from. Okay, if we go like that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Are you hurt? You okay? You dropped. Okay, I did that. It's <laughs> nope, gotta do that. Okay, twelve inches. So it'll be 12 inches by 13 and a half. Because you'll have enough room for silverware that nobody particularly puts there. Okay, I think I've got an average size. Do flick them wicker. Because you want to be consistent, you don't want to have a flat piece and then a round piece. So from round piece to round piece, 12 inches. We are good to go. Well, guess what? I got six of them even. That's the math that I wanted originally and that's all that may or may not be waste but out of that whole thing that's all we got and I got these from said sister so I put those little pieces in these so I even recycled my recycling so six place mats oh re-secure the ends and trim them up waiting for that to dry so I can cut those two and there you are. You want a place mat, a yoga mat. Uh, I wouldn't suggest making sushi out of with them, but <laughs> get one window treatment, and a lot of it goes a long way. So hooray! Hi. And it has yet to downpour yet. <laughs> so hoo -ha. Thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. And I think I earned today's funny bones. So that is my task after this. Stuff my face with funny bones. <laughs>